Hello everybody, this is Dave from David's Vine Geckos. Uh, this video I'm going to dedicate to Doug Spider Monkey 321. Uh, it's spelled S P Y D E R M O N K E Y 321. He is an up and coming gecko breeder. He's doing really, really good with some Max Nose and stuff. So check out his videos. He's got like 200 subscribers and he makes great videos and I got a feeling he's going to be one of the big gecko breeders in the future, so keep an eye on him. Alright guys, this video is going to be about ovulation in leopard geckos and how to tell when they're ovulating, how to tell if they have eggs developing in them, and when to pair them with a male, and also how to deal with eggs once they're laid. Now I'm doing this video by myself, so just bear with me. I made a little contraption to hold the camera for me when I show you these things. And also, I've done a test uh, a test video with my camera phone here, and it's a little tough to tell the ovulation. So what I want to encourage you guys to do is, if you guys have smartphones, uh, Ron Tremper has an app. It's like $2. It's called Leopard Gecko Pro, and there's Leopard, Leopard Gecko Care. The Leopard Gecko Care one is only $2, and there's some great photos and information on there. He explains everything about leopard geckos, how to care for them, how to deal with them when they're not eating. There's just just great information. And if you're really, really serious about it, there's also the other app, which is called Leopard Gecko Pro. It's about 10 bucks, but it is the encyclopedia of gecko morphs. Everything that's out there today is in there, pretty much. And he updates it all the time. So, just want to just recommend that guy, re recommend that app to you serious leopard gecko hobbyists. It's like a must-have. Alright, in any case, let's start this video here. Here's a group of female leopard geckos, and if the video cuts off, I'll do another one. There'll be part one, part two. Alright, I'm just going to tell you what they are first. This is a female Tangelo, right here, very pretty one. Here is a female Eclipse with a regrown tail, and she is also Het, het Bell, so basically this is a Eclipse Het Radar. Here is an insane uh, Tremper Red Stripe Emerine Cross. I mean, she has like purplish blue, red, yellow. The colors on this girl are amazing. I did a video about her in the past. Here is a really, really cool Bell High Bino from Paul Allen's line. Really, really nice. In fact, this, this gecko right here used to be as almost as orange as this Tangelo here. But I've read her two seasons now, so she's kind of fading a little bit. But she's still really cool looking. Uh, this girl over here is a uh, Las Vegas patternless albino. And she's one of my favorites. She pumped out about 10 eggs last year. Unfortunately, they all turned out to be males. And so I have a lot of male Max Snow Las Vegas patternless albinos. So if any of you guys need any, uh, let me know, and I will give you a good deal on one. I think I have them on my site for 120 bucks, but if any of my subscribers want one, I'll uh, I'll give it to you for 120, and I won't charge anything for shipping. If you want one, that's an awesome male morph to have. You got so many genes in that. Okay, so here we go with the video on ovulation. I'm gonna put the phone down, so just bear with me. Okay, now when a female gecko starts to ovulate, the first thing you'll notice is a little red and white spot in the middle of their belly here. And don't worry, I'm not hurting her. Um, they're very, very flexible, and I'm not. I'm just keeping her calm. She's not in any pain or discomfort. So if you can see a white spot with a red outline like that, that's usually what leopard geckos look like when they're just starting to ovulate. If you catch it earlier than this, you may just see a little, little tiny red spot in the middle of their stomach right there. And that's how you know they're about to ovulate. Now this female right here is ready to be paired with a male. You can keep females by themselves their entire lives and pair them with the male only when they're ovulating if you wish. And that's how I do it here. When I see a female ovulating like this, what I do is I take her and I put her in the bin with a male overnight for a night or two. And that is usually all you have to do 
to get the male to fertilize her. Now, after she lays her first clutch of eggs, you can pair her with that male again just to be sure, but usually the females will retain enough sperm for the entire season. So it's up to you whether you want to keep repairing her with the male. I mean, it's a good thing to do, maybe every, every two clutches of eggs, just to make sure there's enough uh, sperm in her to fertilize the eggs because she may start shooting duds after a couple clutches. But that's up to you guys, what you, how you want to do it. You could also regulate how many eggs you want to produce. Say you only want a couple of eggs from one female and you don't want to overwork her for the season. Um, you may have the ability to do that. But like I say, sometimes they keep enough sperm for the entire season. So a female will throw out eight eggs, eight to ten, maybe even more, uh, depending if it's her second year or not. Uh, usually a female in her first year will probably lay two to four, maybe six eggs, maybe eight if she's huge, but usually no more than that. Uh, the best thing to do is to wait to the second year to breed females, but most people don't, and it's okay to do it if they're young, but just make sure they're really fat and healthy. All right, so if you guys understand that, that's the beginning of ovulation right there. Okay, next step. Just so you can see, here is a female's belly that is not ovulating. There's nothing special going on right now with this female. This is the female Tangelo. It's very pretty. But she's not ready to breed just yet. And we'll keep an eye on her and see what happens. Okay, now the camera isn't showing it, but this female, which is my um, red stripe emerine tremper here, she is just barely starting to ovulate, but it's very difficult to see on the camera here. If you, In person you can see it, but there's just a slight reddish uh, tint beginning to develop right here. But... I'm sorry, you can't see it on the film. Okay, while I'm at it, I'm going to show you guys this eclipse I have. She's just got a crazy snake eye. It's really weird looking. And her other eye is pretty much normal. Well, black, covered in, you know, totally black, like an eclipse. But this side is just weird looking. And she's got a regrown tail. But she, she lays great eggs, and she's a little small too, but it's her second year. Now here's a, great, here's a great example of ovulation. Can you see that big red spot there? That's ovulation. And sometimes you'll see a spot over here and over here. Usually starts in the middle, and then they go off to, off to each side. So look, here's a round circle, and here's a round circle, and it's outlined in red. So that is, these are actually, this girl has been fertilized already. So actually, these are developing eggs. They're going to turn into eggs. But that's what ovulation looks like. So if you see any of this going on in any of your females, they are ready to be paired with a male. Okay? And she's real cute. All right. Now, once your female has been fertilized by the male and you give her a few weeks you'll start to notice eggs developing inside of her and this is what they look like and she is a little squirmy right now because I, prob I probably should not be handling her during this time but I really want to show you guys what developing eggs look like so you know so I'm going to try to be as gentle as I can Okay, can you see that? On either side of that vein running down her stomach are two big, healthy, developing eggs. Now, she's almost at the point where she's going to lay these guys. So I'll give her another week or so, and I bet she's going to lay those eggs.
Okay, now this female also has two eggs in her. You can see them on either side of her stomach there. She's going to lay eggs any day now. This is my bell hibino. Okay. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how to deal with eggs that have been laid by a female. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make another video on this. So this will be part two.